It's all right. Uh, and we're coming to you from the law offices of Craig Swap and Associates in Sandy. Thank you so much, Craig, for being a gracious host. I want to talk about those self-driving, those auto-driving cars, autonomous vehicles. How safe are they? Well, Buddha, they're you know they're they're, they're getting safer. You know, getting uh, that's a great word. They're getting, getting. But, but none of them are at the point where you can just sit in it and go for a drive and work or play games on yeah. your phone or computer. I'm so glad that we have so many safety. My wife doesn't believe me. She thinks she's going to get one of those cars and then she's going to be able to go wherever she wants, do her work, do puzzles without looking. That's not the case. I want to make sure we clear the air up on that. That's not how it works, right? Well, Buddy, you should know better that none of our wives trust us to yes, tell them the truth. Yes. But, but, but that's exactly right. You don't, th there's too much involved to, to, to just get in it mm -hmm. and, and go. You should really get a chauffeur if, if you've got the money to do that or call Uber. <laughs> uh, but, but really, there's, there's just some tragic situations. He, even here in Utah, we had a gal in South Jordan that was playing on her phone and going 60 miles an hour and runs in the back of a first responder's truck. I mean, the car was destroyed. She, she fortunately survived with a relatively minor injury, but that doesn't happen. There's been other others that have run into sides of, uh, you know, Tractor trader trucks yeah. and, and different things. So you got, we got to get the idea that hey, we can just get in there and it, it'll be fine. Yeah. Can we trust autonomous vehicles at this stage? I don't, and I think most people are, are skeptical. It's, uh, there was a study that said 71 percent or so have kind of a negative view of them. Um, I think what I've heard mostly is that you know one, they don't think the technology is completely there yet, and two, they a lot of people don't want to give up their ability to. To drive themselves. Yeah, that, that's one of that's one of those freedoms we, we we still have. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I get stressed out, I want to get in the vehicle and I just want to drive into the country. So, being automatic, that'll take all of that away. A absolutely, and I think if you if you think of it in the big picture, we either all have to be automatic to, to have that really work, and then do we really want to give up that much control over our lives? What would you suggest to the viewing public as far as when it comes to? autonomous vehicles, whether you're going to buy one, test drive one, and maybe you own one right now. I think they're uh, they're really cool. I mean, they're exciting to, yeah. to drive, they're, and they're powerful to, and everything. But I would say, if you get one, just remember you're, you're not totally autonomous. Yeah. You still got to keep your hands on the wheel, and you got to make sure that you're safe and those that you drive through. And again, we every time we end these uh, conversations with uh, with Craig, we always ask if there's any trouble, if there's any kind of questions involving if they got in an accident. The best thing to do is to reach out to you. Guys. Yeah, give us a call. We're prepared for that. We've handled thousands of, of cases, and, and we know what to do. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of benefits to having an autonomous vehicle, but you still have to have some kind of human responsibility. That's, that's the message that I'm getting from you. Yeah, and just, just recognize it for what it is and, and don't, don't assume that it's more. All right. Well, I've never done this with a real lawyer, so I'm going to ask, can we do an air high five? <laughs> Just in case, you never know. Something could be out there. I'm just kidding. But not from him. Me to him is what I'm worried about. Uh, the best thing to do is go onto the website. Um, as you heard Craig give it out, it's right there on the bottom of the screen as well. We'll put a link on ours, fox13now.com, and click on the place.